Mark Breland says Deontay Wilder was untrainable. Knuckleheads, Mark Breland came out with a five-page statement on Instagram. And it's amazing to me how much you had to push this guy for him to come out. I mean, this guy's been accused of everything from spiking the water to being jealous and so on and so forth. Despite spending 12 years of his life with Deontay Wilder, man, Deontay Wilder really threw this guy under the bus. But yes, in today's statement on Instagram, where essentially Mark Breland issued five pages, you can tell that he had a lot on his chest. He was tired of being quiet. He was tired of being picked and prodded at. And he really lit the truth come out and Deontay Wilder have it today. And if you ask me, this is the truth. Now, of course, some people believe Deontay Wilder, but I think the majority of people do think that Mark Breland is the one with the sense in this situation. So one, a couple of the important takeaways that I read, and you can go check out the statement for yourself on Mark Breland's Instagram but a couple of the takeaways that I that I looked at and I was really, you know, taken aback by, and they also make sense in hindsight, is the fact that Breland really talks about how difficult it was to train Deontay Wilder and even to talk to him, you know, in the way that a coach is supposed to talk to his fighter without any obstruction, without any filter. Now, he goes as far as to say that for the last several years, he didn't even have Deontay Wilder's phone number. And then he discusses the atmosphere that was created. And this one is especially disturbing to me. And I believe uh, really explains why Deontay Wilder stagnated and didn't develop technically. So he says... You know, after Deontay became a name in boxing, new members joined the team, and it got to the point where I didn't have my fighter's phone number, said Breland. He then said that, um, I haven't spoke to, alone to Deontay in years. The things that I told him to do had to be run past Jay. He's referring to Jay Dees, who I would imagine is the head trainer, despite the fact that he doesn't have any pro boxing experience as far as I know, and Mark Breland is, is a champ. Um, he said Deontay had become untrainable because he was at the point of he knows more about boxing than all of us. So teaching a correct jab was not a priority once he continued with his knockout streak. And this is what so many people said. You know, Deontay Wilder had relied on his power and fallen in love with it and had forgotten to train. But it looks like he also had a massive ego. Um, listen to this part. And this is about... The atmosphere that was created, it almost was as if, you know, Deontay Wilder forced an, forced an atmosphere of yes men around him. Um, he says, if Wilder had a bad day, we had to be quiet not to be on the receiving end of his wrath, according to Jay, in an effort not to be fired. I mean, that's crazy to me. If he didn't feel like it, uh, he didn't. As far and 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 he's talking about Breland's talking about hitting the bag, jumping rope, running. He said if he didn't feel like it, he didn't do it. And Jay didn't seem to understand the importance of those things, so he would make it clear not to ask Deontay twice. If I tried to pull Deontay to the side to tell him what I see, Jay made it clear: don't say nothing. You don't want to make him mad. So you know that's a real problem in the development, not only of a fighter, but of anyone, when you're pulling them to the side and, or you want to pull them to the side and you're being told, hey, 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 you know, let's, let's not make him mad. Let's not tell him something he doesn't like. You know, how are you supposed to communicate to your fighter the things he's supposed to approve upon if, you know, the team doesn't even want you to discuss anything that, you know, may make him feel you know, like his ego was hurt or, or may make him feel like he's not, you know, completely perfect in every way. You know, it all starts to make sense when you read what uh, Mark Breland wrote. And, you know, to me, D 
Deontay Wilder's stagnation makes, you know, complete sense. And, you know, I don't say this because I dislike Wilder. You know, I liked Wilder for a very long time. For me, my respect for him took a turn for the worst, or for the worst when, you know, he started coming out with the allegations of the glove tampering against Mark Breland, Ricky Hatton, so on and so forth. I just felt like he was being a sore loser and, you know, didn't know how to accept his loss. But, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not out here to trash the guy. I'm just telling you guys what I think. So, you know, tell me what you guys think about this whole situation in the comment below. I mean, I want to know, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? It looks like an environment or an atmosphere of yes men was created and enabled by Deontay Wilder, enabled by JDs, and Mark Breland just kind of was, was forced out of it. It's unfortunate. Tell me what you think, guys. Hit the, uh, hit the like button when you're done writing your opinion in the comments section. Smash the subscribe button, the bell notification icon next to it to join Knucklehead Nation. Also, join the channel for just $5 a month. You can help me build the channel and continue to build our kickboxing promotion. We'll be back hopefully this year, assuming this pandemic gets lifted. Um, appreciate you guys joining the channel. If you do that, you'll get access to our pay-per-views. You'll, uh, live pay-per-views, you'll get access to discounts to Fighters Rep Gear below, which also you can purchase and helps me build the channel and the promotion. And you'll get to be part of our monthly members-only meetings. I look forward to what you guys have to say about this, man, because this is this is a real sad situation for, you know, the United States' is, or what was the United States' best heavyweight hopeful and a guy who's really, for me, taking a fall from grace.